So we're in the airport right now. We're just about to get on our plane to the country. Wow. Anchorage, this is where we're going to be stopping for the night. These guys behind me, Ocean Nomads, but we're going to be doing convoy with them, so Edward's just helping them with their dinghy at the moment. So they lent us. Um, yeah, I feel really, really tired. I think it's only about 6 o'clock, and we have to get up at 2 a.m. to start our way to St. Martin, so I'm really looking forward to it. And Babagina did great today, her engine worked beautifully, so I don't know, I just feel. This is where the English language fails sometimes because there aren't enough words but I feel really, really happy and we've come so far and everything... I'm getting there. This is how we're storing our masks, by the way. The bases are good, they were snapped in the middle. Um, we're doing the best we can, really. But yeah, we've got all the parts, we've got the boom, and we've got all our spare diesel here, all hooked up, because we have two tanks, two diesel tanks, one here and one here. But starboard, uh, there's a leak in the tank. So that's been disconnected until we fix it in St. Martin's. Uh, but the port side, pretty good. And yeah, we're getting there. We got through customs, we got through customs okay. They were shut, they weren't gonna let us through until the morning. I started crying a little bit. And uh, the guy, he let us off then when we came to pay in. I only had a card. It was like a five dollar fee and I was counting out all the pennies in my purse. And I was like, <laughs> And he's like, it's okay. 
thank God for the kindness of people. So, been a very, very lucky day. Okay, it's 2.30 in the morning. We're up early to get a puppuccino ready. And we just found that, yeah, our oil is leaking. So we've got three bottles of it and we need to stop up it for four hours. That's why we're not going to get St. Martin's. I thought she was cool. But there's some uh, good mechanics in St. Martin's and we can afford them. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, less. Okay. You think it'll be okay? Might be okay because it puts. Uh, it's about time that you got sick of me. I'm no longer fun. I'm so far from interesting. I thought that I. Found myself a cure for feeling old, just one more line. And I repeat over and over again till I'm blue in the face with a choking regret. Cause I talk in circles round you in my bed. Can't say I blame you one bit when you kept it all inside. When you left that. This is our progress so far. And this is the lovely aft cabin. She's got a really beautiful floor, really. But that turns into a double. And this remains a single. And there's a toilet just under here, which we will not be using. We're thinking about using this as a bedroom for Edward and I, but I think we're going to be having some crew on board, so I think this is actually kind of nicer for two people to be sharing who are not a couple. Um, but at the moment, oh, Papagino is still a state. What are you doing right now? I wanted to empty the seat in which I was sitting. It's got all this lovely juice in. And I wanted to use a manual pump, manual bilge pump. She broke. So I said, OK, I will use the electric bilge pump. And she broke as well, so I'm, I'm fixing the electric beach pump. They're both broken. Thanks to, thanks to Papagino, I know how to fix a, an electric beach pump. She's a good teacher. Yes. She's very kind. If we had a new boat, we'll never know that. Exactly. This is the view of Papagino right now. She's an absolute bloody mess. She needs a lot of TLC. She looks to stay right now just because we're trying to, oh no, make her beautiful. But we're taking everything out of the bilges and would you like to see our brand new dinghy? Oh, here we go. I think she suits Papagino just grand. Don't know what you think, but yeah. What a treat.
been in St. Martin for, I don't know, a few days, nearly a week, I'm not sure. But we've been working non-stop to try and bring Cappuccino to, uh, I don't know, just make her a bit more livable. So in uh, Nanny K, we did a lot of work to make her work, which is what we've been doing. But because we're expecting a new crew member, we're trying to get Papagino to a livable standard. So far, our fridge does not work. Uh, we still do not have a gas canister for our cooker, so we are unable to cook anything or keep anything refrigerated. So that's been the most annoying thing. Our water tank is also, the water is undrinkable because it tastes rank. Uh, but it's good to shower and wash stuff. So these are all the things we're going to solve to make it habitable so we can cook. But if you come up to the cockpit, it was a lot cleaner. I mean, it looks a lot, it might not look clean, but it's a lot it's cleaner. Clean. No, it's clean than what it was. And our latest plan, the add cabin. So, Evan's been working really, really hard to get this room sorted ready for crew. Um, me and Edward were going to stay in here ourselves, so we were close to the cockpit, but then we decided that this is probably most comfortable for two crew members to share to have that space. Uh, the front cabin is good for a couple, but here, even if we made a massive double bed here, which I think we could, we can make this room into a really nice room for me and Edward. The thing is, the, the forward cabin, I don't think it's a good space for two people to share. Maybe one person, if we had another crew member, they'd have to stay in the lounge. We want people to be comfortable and have their own space. So, Edward's peeled off the, the stinky lining from the ceiling. And now what he's going to do, he's going to sand all the bumps. Then we're going to paint some really bright colours. This boat is going to be a proper little gypsy wagon boat. Uh, she's not going to be traditional in the least. She's going to be all bright colours. We're going to be painting everywhere. So very, very happy. She's just, it's just taken bloody ages. Small things are so complicated to do. But toilet, taking out the toilet as well. There is still a piece in it. Oh. Have I, I got piss on my hand then? I let the piece in it here. Yeah. Just for you. Thanks for that. Yeah, stay tuned. Are you excited for our day off today? Very good. Yeah. Very good. We're going to have some nice lunch and relax. And we go on the French side today. On the French side, and get you some pan chocolate. I speak French. <laughs> Marigo, 
which is the capital of the French side of the island. We had a lovely lunch in a French restaurant and after we just walk around the city to see what happened here. Yeah, it's been pretty nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Although we're exhausted already. Yeah, and it's very different from the Dutch side here. Okay, admits what has been a seemingly endless struggle. Um, maybe it is still a struggle, but we've had some good things that have happened to us today. Edward got two buses to the French area. We haven't been able to cook on this boat uh, because the gas is, to buy a gas bottle is about between 250 and $400 per one. Uh, me and Edward couldn't afford that at all. And it's um, not normal to pay that. And it's not normal to pay that at all either. And we were just walking around yesterday in our day off, asked someone if they knew where any gas was, walked to a shop, and there's just this geezer sitting there of like a ton of empty gas bottles. So Edward gets a, a bus over today. and Because it was on. the French part. It's because it was the French part. That's why we got shit done. Uh. And this is Edward's beautiful shirt yeah. from yesterday. Nice, huh? Yeah, we had a good day off yesterday, didn't we? Yes. I think it's important because we were so tired and we didn't, we just were dreading to go back to work. Whereas now that we woke up this morning and we're looking forward to going to work. Yeah, no, it is good. Now we've got the gas. We'll have coffee in the morning. And tea. Yes, sir. And tea. And tea, maybe. If you're, uh, no, no. If you're a good girl. I've got it ready. One my English breakfast. Twinings was too expensive, so I had to go with Lipton. But I'm sure it'd be okay. Come on, show me. Ready? Show me. Whoa! Have you ever been so happy to see that? So it's working very well. Small one. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? Uh, I would like some omelettes, please. <laughs> Cheese, eggs, bacon. Let's do it. Ah. What are you doing, Elizabeth? I'm preparing our first homemade lunch. We're going to be making an omelette. It's so our first lunch on Papagino, homemade, because we've got cat. I'm gonna make a With more ingredients, of course. We've got eggs, we've got bacon, we've got tomatoes, we've got onion, we've got avocado. I've given you more because you're a big boy. Coffee. Ta -da, ta -da. Wow. You go enjoy. Yes, 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 yes. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's alright. Enjoy, babe. Is it good? It's better than in a restaurant. Yeah. Now what are you doing? We've had a lovely lunch and now we're going to treat ourselves to our first Papagino tea and I know you're very happy about that. <laughs> it just shows that it's the small things that actually really do count. The being able to make yourself a cup of tea, being able to 
make yourself lunch and not have to rely on walking half an hour here, there and everywhere just to get supplies. I'm feeling really good actually because in Nanny Cave we were very, very stressed, dirty, hot and here. All that work, I mean, yeah, of course we're still stressed and we've got a lot of work to do. And we've heard that there's a storm heading this way. But I think we're, we know we're on the right path. We're doing good and, don't know, kitchen's heart of the home, isn't it? Time for a cup of tea. Oh, the southern ocean is a lonely place where the songs are many and the shells are scarce. Down on the southern ocean, sailing down below Cape Horn. Of the trouble, what there's a mess of sky. You can see that Molly Bob rise and die. Down on the southern ocean, sailing down below Cape Horn.